Hey guys, this is Trim with Friday's Fresh Market. We are at our greenhouse right now. Um, as I planned today, I want to go ahead and flush our um, tubings that is gonna go with this huge flood table. I'm trying to hook it up and uh, I'm gonna run um, run water and uh, with uh, sanitizing um, solutions in, uh, through this tubing. So. Uh, you can see that over here I have this tubing um, it's already all hooked up together so basically it's uh, on one end it's hooked up with this pump that this pump is going to be um, sunk into the solution water that's pumped through this system and then it comes to an T and then it spreads out and then uh, each each side is going to be connected with uh, this little like if there are several little drip emitters on this tubing. So if you pull it off, you can see it looks like this. And then it's hooked up with even a skinnier black tubing. Then it's hooked up with this uh, uh, spike. This spike actually has a kind of a groove inside and to guide the solution um, into down this spike. So I'm gonna be putting this uh, pump into the sanitizing solution I have over here and then actually it's a warm water warm water mixed with xerotol that xerotol is a anti-fungicide it's a bactericide and it also is an algicide so it kills all the um, harmful bacteria or anything that could possibly mix in the water so um, let me show you guys how to do that Okay, so um, I am first gonna put this pump into this uh, sanitizing solution and I have this bucket of the solution already mixed up. I'm just gonna drop this pump inside of this bucket and uh, make sure that the pump is uh, completely, um, completely in the water. And then you can see that my tubings are on the floor right now and it's next to a drain so once I hook it up and all the water is supposed to be pumped through the tubing and uh, if they are not clogged um, each little tubing and each little spike should have water dripping out so I'm gonna plug in this pump and see how it works you can hear a little noise that the water is being pumped through so all right let's take a look so you can see that the water obviously is being pumped through the tubings and all the little ammeters are working and uh, looks like all the spikes are dripping water too. So you can see it's uh, dripping water it means um, the tubings are not clogged. That's a good news. And uh, sometimes because in hydroponics and uh, um, the nutrients and uh, the solution you use and a lot of times the calcium can build up in your tubings and in your uh, fixtures and uh, uh, cause cloggage. That is a really, really common problem and it's inevitable because uh, most of the nutrients are salt. So salt build up and uh, uh, along with the debris, along with the calcium, so it's really easy to clog your lines. That's why daily or weekly maintenance of hydroponics is uh, extremely essential to have a successful and a smooth operation. Okay, so basically I have um, the lines are cleaned up and uh, I just brought them to this flood table. Um, so basically the lines has been tailored into the size of this flood table. So you can see that um, the pump that hooks up with this black tubing and this tubing comes up to an T and then it splits. Splits to two sides alongside of this side of the flood table and each side goes down to the length of this long flood table. And then the connecting part, this is an L-shaped you know, fitting to connect the two black, black tubings. So what I think I'm gonna do is that I am not gonna use those spikes, actually. Um, those spikes are meant to be used for if you do this ebb and flow system with the bottom watering flower pots that you can put this spike into the pots so it guide water and it stays well. But since I'm just gonna flooding this table for um, soaking my air plants, I don't necessarily need those spikes. So I'm just gonna temporarily disconnect them and just use this uh, um, big black tubing and uh, those skinny ones and, uh, for flooding, flooding my table. Okay, next step, I'm gonna strap this um, irrigation line onto this flood table on the side. If you see, 
closely, you will see there are two holes, two tiny holes, um, every so, you know, so far apart that you have those two drilled holes. This is for using with the zip ties. So you can use a really small zip tie like this. So just use those zip ties and go through those holes. And on top, you strap the black tubing and secure it. Okay, so basically I have all the lines tightened up right now and uh, you can see I have them along, aligned the side of the flood table as much as possible. Now one important thing you want to make sure is that when you hook it up the lines and the black tubings, um, make sure this part is pointing towards the inner um, flood table it's not flapping out otherwise when you hook up with water you will have a water splashing outside of this flood table which you don't want so um, next I'm gonna trying to hook it up with uh, water basically I'm gonna put this pump inside of this um, um, water tank so I did two days ago when I did my last video that I had this 115 gallons of the water mixed with the uh, air plant food and a little bit of zero top. So I'm about to just hook this up and uh, um, start flooding this table. So, okay, I have my air plants all in the um, flood table right now. And uh, that's for the most part all the air plants that we carry here at the store at the moment. So I have them nicely spaced out. Uh, and the water is slowly uh, rising from from the tubings and you can tell that my table is not a totally leveled and uh, which is not a too big of a problem for what I'm doing right now because I just wanted to get a water level high enough so that all my air plants will be soaked but uh, in a normal hydroponic practice, you want to make your surface, your grow level, as level as possible so that each pot or each container of the plants that is in that flood table can get the same amount of the water. Hey guys, good morning. Um, uh, I have had my pl uh, air plants and uh, soaked in this uh, flood table overnight, so I'll uh, just give you a look at it. So they look really good overnight and uh, this is uh, how the flood table floods up. So I'm just gonna drain this flood table and I'll start taking my airplanes out but it's just wanting to show you that uh, how simple a uh, ebb and a flow or flood and drain hydroponic system can be. So um, we'll see you next time with another episode. Bye!